liquor, I don't know, beer at 7 o'clock in the morning. What are you drinking? What is up, you guys, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to a little chit chat. Get ready with me. Chit chat. Get ready. Make sure you have your coffee, tea, tequila, liquor, I don't know, beer at 7 o'clock in the morning. What are you drinking? This is coffee, I promise. <laughs> we get a little bit kind of. Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know how to keep some cohesive thoughts, so it gets a little bit jumbled, but you know what? If you guys are just want to hang out a little bit and just know a little life update, keep on watching. And if you guys are enjoying the video while you are watching, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up because it helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking this link down here in that corner. And if you're new here, my name is Jessie May and we upload unboxings, lifestyle, and makeup videos. That was awkward. We're gonna keep it. That wasn't a good intro. Like it was awkward? But it was an intro, so we're gonna keep it. Bare face me. Trying to use up my tart, poreless, timeless, whatever poured smoothing. I'm trying to dry my hair this morning, and I think I need a new hair dryer. So that's unfortunate, because it's the time. I, I'll just pop into like a clip here while I put this on, because it's primer. My hair dryer, I think, is on its, um, actually, it's, it's already had its last little leg, so, gotta get a new one. You know, thought I was prepared. No, no, not at all. I'm gonna be using, I don't know why I have to, do, do you guys want to know about, probably, it's kind of like a chit chat, get ready with me, so I would assume you would want to know some of the makeup. So, for my eyes today, I'm gonna be using the Raw Beauty Christie by ColourPop, the All Forest Sights Palette. I have not used this. I've owned it for probably about a year now, because what is it, about a year old? Uh, yeah, have not used it. Why? I don't know. I have about 209 palettes, probably more than that. And I need to do a huge declutter. I just, I, I don't want to say goodbye to them yet. <laughs> I'm being a little baby about it. And I know that 100%. I wanted, I wanted my all May one, but that's okay. We'll use the Urban Decay in Eden, the shadow potion primer. My shadow potion is almost gone, which is honestly a great thing. So what have you guys been up to? Anything new happening? I know we haven't had one of these in probably, what, like two years now? So a lot of holidays have passed. It's New Year's, it's 2022. Um, maybe this year will be a little bit better at life. <laughs> There's a lot of changes, changing. There's a lot of changes about to happen and one, we really are gonna be moving at some point, sometime this year. Um, we are going to sell this house that we are living in. Kevin has lived in it for like 20 something years. So he's definitely over it. And we built a bathroom, like completely just popped in a whole separate bathroom downstairs. There was, there was never a bathroom down, down in the basement at all. So we built one. I'll show you guys. So that was really fun. I do have some, like, I don't know how it's going to turn out. We're going to try and smush clips together because it wasn't much of, like, a recording type of this is what we did. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know. We built a bathroom from scratch down in our basement. It's actually a pretty good title. And a lot of people that we know, they're like, well, why would you want to leave that you just put that bathroom in there? A nice, you know brand new uh and it's gorgeous i love it there's a lot of uh imperfections in my personal opinion that i can point out but that's it it makes it even more homemade special another thing is we want to start flipping houses i'm actually getting my realtor's license i'm doing like online schooling i'm almost finished with it so excited about that and once I get that done, the house should be, well, I'm almost done. So once I get that done, we'll finish up with the house, be able to like stage it and then put it up on the market. And then hopefully when this one sells, we'll go buy another one that needs to be fixed up and everything and just kind of repeat. Because Kevin can't go back to really doing what he did with like landscaping. And that's because if you've been kind of watching me for a little bit now, you would know that, well, he nearly ripped off his arm. He had a side-by-side -side accident when, if you don't know what a side-by-side -side is, it's basically like a two-person four-wheeler. big, and it weighs probably about like 2,000 pounds. 
he was turning a corner and he had the four-wheel drive on and on cement four-wheel drive and it does not mix and so the vehicle started to hop and he overcorrected, and so it flipped and he was sitting you know driving like with his right hand like this and his left arm just hanging out like on top of the window and so when it flipped his arm went underneath and dragged uh, a good 50 feet um, on, on the cement and it nearly was like completely severed off when we were up north because we were up north when this happened at our cabin and when he got taken to the hospital there they're like okay well we're just gonna sever your arm we're gonna amputate your arm uh, because they didn't have the technology the equipment the advancement anything to be able to fix it they said that we could fly you to insert city here but that's literally our city that we live in and I'm not gonna tell you guys that even though we're gonna move but you know so and that is funny cuz he's like well I just drove five hours from up there or down there whatever got flown here $35,000 flight mm-hmm thankfully we have insurance so that they pretty much covered everything like his surgery surgeries cuz he's had multiple surgeries three four no three four three he's had three it was supposed to be four but in the second surgery, the doctor was able to do what he thought was going to be two surgeries into one surgery. So I really thought this was going to be like a lighter shade. This is not the vibe I was going for with a blue shirt. That's... That's okay. So, because it's not, it's not as light as I thought it was going to be. I'm just trying to like blend out the edges a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not an actual makeup artist. Don't come after me. So on top of selling this house, buying another house to fix it up, we are looking down south in, honestly, Georgia. Uh, I don't know why we got, I don't know, uh, Georgia weather's nice. And the certain area that we're looking at, they don't get too many storms. Um, so yeah, so we're looking for like a little winter getaway basically down there it could even be like the same thing to where it needs to be fixed up and we'll go ahead and do that because also once i get my license here in michigan i'm going to try and get it for georgia there's a lot of money in selling houses and if you could do it when you're flipping the houses then you know what i mean like you, yeah that that's kind of where there's another profit so that's what we're trying to do together to honestly make some money because um like i said in one of my other videos yeah youtube's not paying me too much like i'm just doing it for fun so just a little bit more in this corner and i'm going to wrap up my eyes because kevin's already done with one appointment and he's gonna go to his therapy session so he had a so Kevin actually had a doctor's appointment like a checkup on his arm and then he has therapy after and this is the only time I get to record when he's gone because when he's here he's doing work on the inside of the house so there's like banging and loud noise and I obviously I can't record if you know it's super loud so right underneath where this vent is that's where the downstairs basement is leading into and then right across this hall is this upstairs basement well those are the two projects that he's working on yet we are just gonna go for it and if it looks awful I don't know how to fix it not sure why I went with a green um I kind of feel like a lizard I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it at all what what's going on with this guy I'm hoping a little bit of liner and mascara is going to make it more likable for me because I really don't like what I did. Yeah, I'm almost 30 and I really, honestly, you guys, I really don't have many life ambitions, goals, anything. Um, I guess until, until now because of the realtor license and everything, but up until then, definitely, I had no life ambitions, no really big goals. I mean, the goals that I did have were... Not realistic, let's be honest. Back down in Georgia, I also know we want to buy a pool barn or build one or even if we couldn't find an actual house or anything that was 
down there that we liked and could fix up. We were thinking about trying out those boxables. It's literally like a box and a house, or I mean a house and a box, and they drop it off. It like unfolds and you're ready to live in a box. <laughs> but it actually looks like a home. Uh, and I think that's a really cool concept. It's almost like a tiny home, but they could be bigger than a tiny house. Definitely more spacious, because that was one thing I'm worried about, is if, like, we have to transition into the cabin temporarily. Uh, two dogs, three cats, and then me and him, and then we also have three frogs and a 10-gallon tank. So, that's all up in, like, the near future. For winter time, I'm kind of literally all over the place because like I said in the beginning, I don't know how to keep my thoughts cohesive together. That's the same thing. We want to go back up north and go snowmobiling. My snowmobile is not fixed yet, so I'm not going to be the one really snowmobiling. And if you don't know you're new here hey hi what's up i broke my ankle in 2019 january 2019 actually yeah it was like the 29th of january so my anniversary is coming up and i smashed into a tree on my snowmobile the ski of my like my boot was in the ski the ski hit the tree and so it smushed my snowmobile flipped me and it flipped over and my boot stayed in that ski because it was smushed. So my injury would have been honestly just as bad as Kevin's except for my boots kept my bones inside. So I got lucky. If you can call that lucky. I don't know what y'all want to know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go in with the uh, tart sugar rush whatever sugar rush skin treat the blurring skin tint basically the same exact thing as like the maracuja tint and moisturizer i don't know they literally came up with like the same products with the same different names this also reminds me a lot of the cloud nine coverage because it's got that whipped creamy dreamy texture cloud nine coverage i don't recommend i do have a video on it you can check it out in the end down in the description box if you guys are curious i did do a three day wear test on that and i wouldn't say it works well with my skin and i have relatively normal to dry skin my t-zone's a little bit oily so i mean i guess i got combination skin but however it emphasized every wrinkled texture this is too bouncy when i'm you know because like i'm doing this and this is moving so it's making <laughs> kind of hard to see the cloud nine not my favorite go check it out the video don't go buy the product i don't think it's worth the what is it 39 dollars that it was you can check out the video fast forward there's like i said a three-day wear test and it's, it's not executed that great i'm not gonna lie i am going to the dentist today i'm getting my wisdom tooth pulled just one. I'm really nervous. I hate the dentist. I hate going. I hate getting... I've never had a tooth pulled. Well, the, no, I've had one. So I don't know why I said I never had one. And I just, I don't like it. It hurts. <laughs> My eyes are crooked like the black or brown or whatever. This is awful. Maybe I'm just not good at putting on makeup. This happens quite often, you guys, where I'm like looking after I put it on, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't look good. This I just literally grabbed. It's the J Cat Beauty Shadow, not Shadow, Day Assurance Water Sealed Zero Smudge Concealer. It's a shade of Vanilla Bean. Another thing about me you may or may not know is I'm actually kind of negative. I don't try to be. I mean, it just kind of happens naturally. Maybe I'm just an unhappy person. I don't know. But I'm trying to be more positive. And I say F you a lot, so I'm trying to just change that. Like a simple little, you know, F you to just, I don't know, okay, great. <laughs> so whenever somebody, or whenever I want to say F you to somebody, I'm going to say, okay, great. <laughs> it usually just makes me laugh because it, it it's almost inappropriate in some ways. When I do say it, then I start laughing, then I think of how ridiculous it would actually to be to say like F you and yeah. I don't know how to not be negative. I feel like I've been negative my whole entire life and that's not good. Because to be honest, I'm kind of unhappy. You know, I'm getting, we're getting a little deep here. 
and I don't like the way my life is going and that's another reason why we're doing all of this. I mean, not just for me, like it's for both of us, but something definitely needs to change because like I said, I'm not happy and I know he just wants to get out of this house. So hopefully we can get the ball rolling sooner than later. I mean, there's a house right down the street from us that just went on the market yesterday, like yesterday morning and it already says on like the description put in any offers by friday by noon because they've already i guess maybe had multiple offers and so they had a post on their listing like this is a hot house they put the price in my opinion too low um which is going to devalue the houses around this their zestimate is like a quarter of a million and they put it on the market for like 220 um if you know that's that's really not smart because now people are going to talk them down from the 220 and they'll probably get maybe 200 which that is a lot of money not saying that but i'm just saying if you can get more and not be greedy you know because they're building houses literally the block down for 800,000 brand new construction so i just that was just the rare beauty shade bliss they're like her what do you selena gomez's um what are you liquid blush i don't know i got this in one of my box no this was an ipsy this is uh from the it's an illuminizer from the new you new york something i honestly have no idea how to say this brand like it's like the two new york you something so anyway that's kind of you know What's going on with us over here in this little, uh-oh. Forgot there was stuff on the other side. Um, my makeup today, not, what the hell did I do up there? Not the greatest, unfortunately, because we're going to be filming another video after this. A rose lip line colored pencil from Mellow in the Rare Beauty shade Courage in the lip souffle thingy-majig. Okay, yep, stop before you just, your lip becomes all the way over here. Okay, so quick liner and mascara and we're done. I gotta fix that. Like, ugh, it's my teeth. Now I'm starting to rush because I'm looking at like how much I've been recording. It's gonna take me a minute to edit this. So the Beautylish video might actually be up first. If it is, check it out here. So yeah, mentioned talking about going to Georgia, fixing up our house, selling it, me getting my license to sell it, getting a Georgia license. I just hear all these cars, if you hear them, they're looking at that house that is for sale down the street, so. Sorry. But I have a feeling that house is going to sell. Like, the, that offer is going to go up on Friday. And it's going to go through. One thing we were debating about is, is a builder going to buy that house so they could just knock it down and build a new $800,000 house? That'll be definitely something that um, is a possibility and more than likely to happen. Because one of the houses that they just knocked down to build an $800,000 house... There was nothing wrong with it. Had a brand new roof, brand new um, brick, not brick, brand new siding all on the house. The basement glass brick windows were brand new. I mean, it, they didn't care. They said, nope, we want this space, we want this land, and we don't care about the house. So, I'm sorry the palette was, that's why I'm kind of like going like this so you can see and not just like this. But I'm having an okay eyeliner day. Don't mess it up. I messed it up. That's that's fantastic, you know. So there's that quick coat of mascara, and then we wrap this little beady up. I don't like that mascara. The Pat McGrath. I don't like it. It's too wet and gross. And nope. CoverGirl Lash Blush Clean. I and love this mascara. I thought it was when I grabbed it out of my thing. I thought it was the Tarte Surf Curl because that one's my favorite. But I got this one. This one works too. These lips. And there's. Still lipstick in my teeth. Great. Love that for me. Yeah, this is how my hair dried naturally. Alright, in honor of Bailey Syrian. I don't know, she goes like this or something. She's like, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to wear it? Let me know down below. I don't know. I, just, I miss her tutorials. I wish she would actually do tutorials and not just the murder mystery makeup. I don't know, that's personal. But then again, I could take her look and do a tutorial out of it. Maybe I'll do that. 
Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Let me know, you know, how you guys are doing. Any new or exciting events happen in your life? I'd love to hear. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below. Also, do you like this look? Because I'm iffy on it. I am iffy on it. I don't know, and I don't like my hair, so I'm just having a little bit of problems today. So, let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below, and if you guys enjoyed this video and you found any value or entertainment out of it, make sure you give the video a thumbs up because it helps you out tremendously, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking this link right here, and if you want to binge watch some of my other content, or maybe that Beautylish Lucky Bag unboxing is up, go ahead and click one of these links right here. Love you guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!